Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff Inc., the Panasonic Tough Book Experts. Hello, I'm Solomon with Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff. Today, we're going to replace the L75 system board on your Panasonic Tough Book CF30. This is a continuation of how to remove the L7500 system board in your Panasonic Toughbook CF30. First, reset the system board back into the bracket. You should make sure that the memory slot lines up properly and that all of the screw holes are overlaying properly. Next, replace the screws for the system board. There are several screws that need to be replaced at this point. Each screw hole has been marked with a red circle. Do not replace the screws for the 56K modem. These screws need to be replaced later. Run the wire for the ethernet port through the bracket. Then reset the ethernet port back into place. Once the LAN port has been reset, reconnect the wire back into the system board. You can use a screwdriver to connect the wire. Next, reset the 56K modem card and port back into place. Now replace the screws for the port. You may have to remove the PCB to Replace the second screw. Afterwards, replace the PCB and replace the screws for the 56K modem PCB or board. Next, turn over the system board. Reconnect the ribbon cable for the SD card slot. Make sure the solid side is facing up. Push back the clips to secure the ribbon cable. Next, reconnect the ribbon cables for the media board. Make sure the ribbon cables solid white side faces up. This will allow you to reconnect them later in this tutorial. Next, reconnect the ribbon cables for the I.O. device. Make sure the solid side is facing up.
Next, replace the USB board wire at the top left corner next to the DC. You can use a screwdriver to secure the wire. Now turn back over the system board. Replace the wireless card. Replace the screws for the wireless card. Next, reset the system board back into the CF30 frame. Make sure to push the antenna cables through the open slot. Next, reconnect the express card ribbon cable. Now, replace the battery and hard drive connector. First replace the screws for the connector. There are two screws that need to be replaced. Next, under the PC card ribbon cable, reconnect the wire and reconnect the speaker wire. Next, reconnect the black and white antenna cables. This is located just to the left of the connector for the hard drive and battery. And just below the system board. Reconnect the ribbon cable below the PC card. Next, reconnect the PC card ribbon cable. Next, reconnect the wire under the hard drive shield. This wire connects directly to the system board. Now, reconnect the ribbon cables under the hard drive shield. There are two ribbon cables that need to be reconnected to the system board. Next, reconnect the ribbon cable for the touchpad. Also, replace the screws for the system board. If needed, remove the bracket to replace the memory. Lift the heat sheet and reinsert the memory card. Then push down to secure behind the clips. Replace the heat sheet and replace the cover bracket. Then replace the screws for the bracket. Next, replace the USB board. 
and reconnect the USB board wire. Also, replace the screw for the USB port. Next, reconnect the ribbon cables for the I.O. device. Push forward the clips to secure the ribbon cable. Also, reconnect the wire for the single pass through antenna. You can use a screwdriver to push the wire in place. Next, reconnect the CMOS battery under the media board. Then, reset the slot next to the media board. Also, reconnect the ribbon cable for the slot PCB. Then, you may reset the media board. Replace the outside screws for the media board. Next, replace the inside screws for the media board. Now, reconnect the ribbon cables for the media board. Insert the ribbon cables, then clips forward to secure them. Do the same for the second ribbon cable. Next, replace the screws for the slot PCB. Next, replace the hard drive shield. Also, replace the screws for the hard drive shield. Next, replace the silver antenna wire bracket. Also, replace the silver screw for the bracket. Next, replace the tape under the cover. Then replace the plastic cover. Next, replace the back plate. And the screws for the back plate. There are several screws for the back plate that need to be replaced. Turn over your tough book. Next, open your tough book display. Then, reconnect the LCD cables in the top right corner of your tough book.
Next, replace the LCD cover plate. Leave the other screw hole empty for the hinge cover, but replace only the screw holes marked. Next, replace the hinge cover. Then replace the screw for the hinge cover. Find the back hinge cover screw hole by closing the display. Replace the screw for the back hinge cover. Open your display. Replace the screw for the system board. Next, reconnect the black and white cables for the wireless card. Then, reconnect the Bluetooth ribbon cable by pushing the clips forward and inserting the Bluetooth cable. Next, replace the keyboard. Reconnect the keyboard ribbon cables by inserting them into their connectors. Then, replace the keyboard cable cover. Replace the screws for the keyboard cable cover. Next, replace the keyboard by pushing the tabs under where the touchpad is located. Next, replace the keyboard bezel. Also, replace the screws for the keyboard bezel. Close your display, and you have just replaced the L7500 system board for your Panasonic Toughbook CF30. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to visit BobJohnson.com for all of your tough book needs, parts, and repairs. Until next time. Thanks for watching today. For more repair videos, click the link below. And remember, if you have a screwdriver, you can fix a computer. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.